there, it's Emma from Emma's Cards and Paper Crafts. Today's video, I am sharing with you all of the projects I made at the Pootler's Stampin' Up! team retreat that I've just been on the past weekend. Um, so in the morning, we played with the, on the first day this is, the Saturday, we played with the Regal Flora um, suite. Well, mainly the um, design series paper and some cardstock. So these are a few of the projects I made. So this one's lovely pop-up card that also folds flat as a normal 5 by 7 card. Got a lovely normal size card here. And then these are the um, book box or book boxes or something they're called. So I covered this in the design series paper and made it to coordinate with my cards. And then inside you can put whatever you like. I made it so it just tucks under there just to hold it closed but to hold it closed permanently there is a little bit of um, double sided sticky tape so once you've filled it with goodies and you're ready to gift it it's ready to be stuck down and go. So that was what we did on the morning session. Then in the afternoon session we played with the, um, oh, it's the special designer series paper that I'm saving for my, what was going to be 12 days of Christmas but I've decided it's going to be 24 days of Christmas now so I'm going to have an every video a video every day in December and this is from the a little bit festive design series paper so you've seen my projects that have been made with the um oh what's it called this one I can't find the paper it's right in front of me but I can't see it for the life of me there it is so frames and flowers that's it mine just went completely blank so the a little bit festive is very very similar to the frames and flowers um so you've got your three sheets of design series paper and then you've got your pop outs as well so we were playing with that in the afternoon and the three projects i made were this card here there's that one and then i made a cute little tag and then also this little square card so um, because I'd made the tag already, I didn't quite have enough green to make a full size card. So I went for a little square card and it fit the uh, wreath there perfectly. So I thought that was perfect. So that's what we made in the afternoon with that bundle. Um, there was lots of leftovers from this. Um, so between our table, I think we made between 12 and 14 projects and we didn't even use half of the um, design series paper kit. Um, so there is more than enough stuff in that kit to at least do 24 projects. I might even roll over if I get bits left over and do scrap busting for Christmas through to New Year. Um, but I intend on it being 24 videos long and one for every day in December. Um, I have lots of ideas already. Um, the lovely ladies on my table um, shared their projects with me and said that I could case a couple of them. So um, when I do case those projects, their names will be mentioned in said 24 days of Christmas videos. So I look forward to that. And then, so on our second day, we spent the day scrapbooking. So our first scrapbook set we did was the um, autumn one. So this is the, I don't know if you can see all of it. This is my first page. It says grateful for this moment together. So the plan is um, for the autumn one is we're going to get teamy photos printed out from the team retreat and we're going to put those on there. And there's this one here and it says it can't get enough of this. There we go. I hope you can see that. We've got a little owl and a little deer, some leaves. So this scrapbook kit had so many bits and pieces to it. Um, this is one of the more expensive scrapbook kits but I feel you get more for your money there were so many extra stickers and layer pieces left over at the end um, lots of DSP left over as well so we divvied that up between us and everybody took a little bit home of things so I really like the autumn one and then we also did the snowy day Christmas one so I did layout number so this one was layout number two of um the autumn one and i think it was number one or number three i did oh, i think it was three i did of the snowy days one 
and there's this one so this space here is intended for writing or journaling on um and then your photos the only thing i'm not 100 percent keen on is how much white space we have at the bottoms here I'll try and put this so you can see a little bit more here so what i might do is cut out a couple of my favorite snow globes and add them here or maybe a couple of penguins or just something to jazz up this bottom corner here because i feel it's very plain and again this side i might do the same as well add a little bit down here so there's those so that's what we did and what we made on our pootless team retreat so um in my last video i said that we all um teamed up so um heather hazel and myself we each well we had a scrapbook kit between us and each scrapbook kit comes with three layouts in each so we each got a layout each and the way the scrapbook kits work all of the dsp has to be well i, I say has to be cut in a certain way to maximize the uh, how far it goes um you still do get a few leftover bits of dsp from the snowy days one but not as much as what we did in the autumn one um but overall, there were still leftovers from each, um, which we, uh, again, divvied out between us and people have taken home. I've actually was very, very lucky and won first prize on the raffle. So I won myself £100 worth of product. So I'll be bringing you a little unboxing video in uh, a week or so um, to show you all of my uh, winnings. Um, one of the things I did order was the Snowy Day um, scrapbook kit. I've ordered more of the DSP and more of the... Um, oh, the new DSP pack comes with more stickers. So the sheet of stickers that you'd normally get in a scrapbook kit. So... Um, I might make the scrapbook kit my way rather than following the instructions with the extra DSP and things like that and so I don't have so much of that extra white space because part of me doesn't want to do two layouts exactly the same or another two page spread exactly the same again um so I'll probably make my kit my way in we'll do a single 12 by 12 page per video probably do one of those a week or something um so yeah um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I made at the Pootless Team Retreat. Um, I hope you'll come back and watch my next video and I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye bye.